high. This time it's about creating a user, giving it some kind of access with a given scenario. So without waiting much, let's get started. And here it's mentioned that we need to create a user called Ajit and grant him access to the cluster. The user Ajit should have permission to create, list, get, update and delete pods, private key and the CSR file is already given. However, I will tell you how to create this. So just in case if you have a question to create all these things on your own, you should be able to do it on your own. So let's go ahead and do this question. So I am here at Killer Coda Playground. Let's clear the screen first. Let's open the Kubernetes documentation and here I am going to search for CSR that is certificate signing request and click the very first link and here scroll down. So to do this there are certain steps that you can follow. The very first thing will be to issue a certificate for a user. So we need to create a private key and you can use OpenSSL command to generate the private key. So these are the command that you can use and then we need to create a certificate signing request. To create so you need to create a YML file with this content and with kind certificate signing request. So this is another Kubernetes object that is certificate signing request. And instead of my user, you need to provide the user. And in this case, the user is Ajit. And then you need to have the request and the signer name. So there are certain points to note here is usages has to be client auth and expiration seconds could be made longer. So default value is given 86,400. That is one day. It is in seconds and you can increase it or make it shorter as per the scenario or as per your requirement. Then the request is base64 encoded. So the value you see here, this one, this is base64 encoded. Now what you need to do is to get this value, you can convert the certificate signing request content using this command that is cat. You can cat the CSR file and pipe symbol and then base64 and it will generate the base64 encoded request which you can put here. Once this is done, the certificate signing request object is created. We can get the CSR using kubectl get CSR command and then we need to approve it. So we will run command kubectl certificate approve and the username. Once this is done, you can get the certificate using kubectl get CSR my user and hyphen o yml. This will generate the output in yml format. And if you to get the user certificate, you can run the command kubectl get CSR and the name of the user hyphen o json path status dot certificate and you need to decrypt it from base64 and this will generate the content in my user dot CRT file. Once this is done, we need to create role and role binding for this user. So we are going to create a role called developer. So command is kubectl create role developer. And then we need to specify what all permission we want to give. In this case, we will give create, get, list, update and delete on resource pods. Once we have created the role, we need to create role binding. To create role binding, the command is kubectl create role binding developer binding my user. So this is just a name and then you need to specify the role which we created this one and then the user. Once this is done, the last step is to add the user into kube config file and before that we need to add new credential. So the command is kubectl config set credential for this user with private key and the certificate. Then you need to add it to the context. So to add it to context, run kubectl config set context and the username and give the cluster name and the user. And to change the context to this particular user, run the command kubectl config use context and the username. So these are the steps. Now let's actually do this in our cluster. So let's first generate the private key. Let's copy this and run this command. And before running this, I'm going to change it to ajit.key and I will put it in slash root folder. Okay, this is generated. Now let's run the next command. Open SSL request new key. Let's run this in killer coda and change the user to ajit.csr and also with the path. So it will be slash root slash ajit.key and hit enter. By default, I'm just hitting enter. By the way, you can put the country code, state, province. I'm just gonna hit enter because this is just a demo. Now let's check if the file are created. Okay, the files are here, ajit.csr and ajit.key. Let's clear the screen. So these are the two files which we have created. Now we will create a certificate signing request and to do so we need to copy this. By the way, you can run the full command that is cat EOF, but I'm just going to create a YML file. As we discussed, we need to have the request in base64 encoded format and we have created our .csr file 
and let's go to killer coda playground we have a g.csr so i'm just gonna copy this one and go to killer coda playground paste it here and change the my user.csr file to a g.csr and of course it's in slash root slash g.csr and hit enter this has generated the csr in base 64 encoded now we need to put it here and i'm just gonna copy till this part only because we are not using cat command to apply it as of now so i'm just gonna create a yml file vi space ajit hyphen csr dot yml and let's paste it here now this is the sample request i need to change it to the one we have just generated so just delete this content and i'm gonna copy the content which we have just generated and this is gonna be copy till equals to sign. So please remember this is control plane prompt. So let's go to request and paste it here. Okay, we are good. Let's save this. And now we are going to apply it. So we have just created the file. Now we need to apply it. So let's clear the screen and run the command kubectl apply hyphen air ajit.csr. And as you can see, the CSR has been created and we can check this out using the command kubectl get CSR, which is also mentioned here in the documentation. So let's go ahead and check this out kubectl get csr hit enter as you can see it has just created for my user and it is in pending state so let's go ahead and fix this so i'm just gonna delete this one kubectl delete csr my user and I'm going to fix the YML file vi ajit csr.yml and here instead of my user I'm gonna change this to ajit and let's save this and apply this again kubectl apply hyphen f ajit csr.yml and let's check it out again kubectl get csr okay as you can see the first one now it, the username is ajit and it is in pending state now we need to approve this one to approve the csr the command is kubectl certificate approve my user so let's copy this one and paste it here and instead of my user this will be a g okay it has been approved so let's check this out again kubectl get csr and as you can see the status is now approved and issued so we are going good so far now to get the certificate in yml format you can just run the command kubectl get csr slash my user hyphen o yml so i'm just gonna copy this and change the user to ajit and hit enter so this is the whole csr the certificate and we can export the issued certificate from certificate signing request this command kubectl get csr my user hyphen o json path instead of user.crd i'm going to change this to ajit.crd and here also i'm going to change my user to ajit let's check this out ajit.crd and this is the certificate that we have got now next thing is to create role and role binding so this is the command kubectl create role developer and all these permission are mentioned here and on which resource you want to create it so let's go ahead and create it and just in case if in exam you have certain scenarios suppose if you are asked to only have permission like list or update then you just need to use the list and update and suppose the resource is deployment not pod so please change this command accordingly for now i'll use the default command present in the documentation so let's go ahead and copy this and i'm gonna put it on killer coda so this is the command so i don't need to change anything here everything looks good because we are simply creating the role with the developer right now we are not associating with the user we are giving create get list update delete on the resource pods this is what it was asked in the given scenario so let's go ahead and run this one okay the role has been created let's go ahead and create the role binding now copy this command kubectl create role binding paste it in killer coda and for user give the name ajit and this is just a name developer binding my user name it like anything you want just in case even exam you are asked to give a specific name please go for it so for simplicity i'm just going to change my user to ajit because that's what we have been using so far so let's change this this is all set please note that the role is developer because we have already created that one with given permissions so let's go ahead and run this one okay the role binding has been created now we need to add this to cube config so first we need to add new credentials so copy this command and change this with all the details we have let's change my user to ajit.crd and of course with the given path and for key it will be root slash ajit.key uh, for certificate it's ajit.crd because i exported it to the current directory set credentials for user ajit okay we are good we are good with all the parameters let's go ahead and run this one okay the user ajit is set now we need to add this to context 
So first of all, let's check the current context that we have using this command kubectl config get context. The name of the cluster is Kubernetes and right now this is the only context we have. So copy this command and we are going to change the user instead of my user give the user as a G and the cluster is going to remain same because as you can see the name of the cluster is Kubernetes but just in case if you have different cluster in the CK exam please change it accordingly and here also change the name to Ajit okay the context Ajit has been created so there is a typo here it's triple E instead of double E so I'm going to create this again just omit the extra E and the context has been created now we need to check this and test it. So run the command kubectl config use context and the context name that is Ajit. So it has switched to context Ajit. Now let's verify this again using tdl config get context. So as you can see the current context has been set to Ajit. So this is all for this particular video. I hope it's now really easy for you to create a user and certificate signing request.